Hi there everyone, your Pyral here with some more of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last episode, we retraced Ilya's steps and we made it to the hidden village where we found this old lady who helped Ilya out. And in doing so, we got the horse call. The item that restored Ilya's memories. So now she remembers who she is. And the horse call will summon Epina to wherever we are. Outside, like in Hyrule, Hyrule Field. But we got it a little bit too late. Anyways, this episode, we're actually gonna return to the Hidden Village. Just because the old lady there, Impas, she said that she's waiting for the Messenger of the Heavens with the Rod of the Heavens. Well, we have, we have just that. Wow, it's, it sounds really weird when I said, oh, we have the rod she's looking for. But, um, we, we do have the Rod of the Heavens. It's also called the Dominion Rod. It's, it's what, uh, it's what the chicken lady, <laughs> what's her name again? It's what she needs to return back to the sky. Okay, so I'm back in the Hidden Village, also known as Old Kakariko Village, but, um, so you can see there's a lot of cats and we're just here to show the dominion rod to to impas here also there's this uh wanted poster here of some random person and that's a lot of rupees that he's worth i wonder what this person did to to have a bounty that large also like the he kind of reminds me of the shopkeeper at the Hyrule or at the Castletown branch of Malomart just because they have a similar moustache. But uh yeah. Anyways, let's just go in here. And what do you have to say? Is that girl doing alright? I haven't much to offer, but please make yourself comfortable here. She's a sweet old lady. Anyways here that rod is that the dominion rod oh, could it really be are you the messenger to the heavens among the legends of my clan there's a story from the time when the uka still maintain contact with the royal family yes it said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky and it was called the dominion rod the rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Uka, from generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please, take it. We got the ancient sky book that's written in sky language. And we happen to know someone that can read that. There's a hint of finding a path to the sky. This book is written in the ancient language of sky writing. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Me and that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to fulfill your role. And she did mention in the last episode that she couldn't leave until she filled this role. So I like to imagine that after this, she reunites with Ilya later on maybe like sometime after the events of this game but I, I would like to believe that that happens just because she's such a nice old lady anyways in terms of pro pro plot progression that's really gonna be it for this episode i'm gonna be returning to kakariko village at the end of this episode so if you just want to skip forward to the next episode where I do some more plot progression then you're free to do that because the rest of this episode is just going to be all side quests but if you want to stick around for the side quests feel free to do so and the first side quest that I'm going to be doing not really a side quest but really it's uh getting that Poe that's right over there so let me just use my handy dandy claw shot and as you can see, there's a lot of cats in this village. We try to talk to one. Do something fun with us. Ask the Kuko leader about it. 
Okay, well, I will do just that after you fell through the floor. What kind of nonsense? Well, you are a ghost, but still. Nonsense. You want to be careful, too, because you're on like a re... You're on the rail. Oh, come off it. Be just because this is such a narrow space, this one is actually pretty tricky to get. There we go. There we go. And that's actually... Kind of screwing up my words there. That should be the last Poe that is in this province. Yeah. We're actually getting close to getting all of them because this was what? 55? Yeah, we're almost done getting all of the Poes here in this game, which is really nice. Anyways, before I see this Kuko leader, there's one more thing I want to see. It is right over here. As you can see, there's a single Kuko here. This is the Kuko leader. But first, there's this howling song. Howling Stone. There we go. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. It's really fitting that having the two wolves howl alongside the main theme of this game, it, it's fitting that that's the last song that's played on, on the Howling Stones. And as you can see, Right there, the hero Shade is in front of Hyrule Castle. We'll go see him later. We have some urgent business here with the Kuko leader. Oh, welcome. This is the Forgotten Village. 30? No, more like 20. That's how many cats have made it back here to the village. So perhaps you could, you know, just play with them? Sure. Oh, thanks so much, phone. Thanks so much. They're all so lonely. Perhaps you could talk to every one of them. But if you leave the village, it'll be like you never talk to any of them. Do you understand? Cats are forgetful. Oh, and let me give you a tip for speaking to all of them. Start at one end. Got it? So we have a bit of a minigame. That's a bit of like a parody of the shooting section here with all of the boblins. Instead of boblins, we have cats. And instead of shooting them, we, we talk to them. Gosh, I love this part. There's 20 cats to talk to. Now this, uh, this could be a little bit tricky. Also, if you start this minigame and then do the Howling Stone, you have to restart your progress. Yeah, this is the first cat. 
Um, nope. Come on. Oh, really? Okay, maybe if I start... If I go from this angle... Yeah, that works. Okay, that's cat number two. These cats like to hide in all sorts of little corners and whatnot. And because they're so small, it becomes really hard to find them. And as you can see... Maybe not. Some of them, actually, will follow you. Like this one. See, we already talked to that one, but it's following us. So that's a bit annoying. It, it makes it a little bit confusing to deal with, but... Oh well. Did I talk to you? Yeah. But the advice to start from one end is really, really good, just because it makes it so much less confusing when you're actually, like, going through with this minigame. Let's see, that's seven. Here's number eight. Now, I don't know if you can transform- I think the game will is fine with you transforming, because you don't- As long as you don't leave the area, I believe you are fine. So, yeah, let's- Let's, uh, test this theory out by going over here. And also, this song is just really, really good. Okay, let's see. That's number nine. We're almost halfway there. Is there one here? No. Well, at least I got, like, some hearts and arrows out of it. Sure, I'll take them. Okay, so that's half of the cats. And I've done a pretty good job up until now, so... I talked to you already, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue going my way through the bottom here. I went through this little alley. So the rest is all just new cats for me. It's 11, stop following me, cat. And now this one is 12. We're doing good. That's 13. And I think I can climb up this too. No. Nope. Okay, easiest solution then is to just use the claw shot to... Get up here. Really? There we go. So what, is this 14 or 13? I already lost count. 14. Okay, only six more left, which is nice. Nope. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't fall. Because there's one that's right up here that I want to talk to. Okay, so only five more left, and they're not above, so they're all on the floor, or on the ground. Like... you? I don't feel like I've talked to you. I did. Okay, then. There's gotta be someone here, then. How do I get up there? Oh, oh, wait, 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 I know. I need to get up here. Tricky. Some of these cats are actually in really weird places where cats shouldn't be, like... How would, how would a cat get up? No, not... This isn't the way I want to go. How would a cat even, like, get here? Okay, let me just break this glass first. Okay, so... Just need to make this jump. Perfect. Okay, th there's only four more left. Yeah, how did I cat even get up there? I don't know. Can I talk to you? I already talked to those ones, right? Oh, goodness. This is gonna be difficult. Because that's 17. Oh, 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 I see you. 18. 
You're the last one I want to talk to. Oh goodness, where? Aha! Okay, perfect. That's all of them. And by talking to you, you are the last one. Everyone is getting along. Go tell the Kuka leader. Okay. That's all 20 cats. Which means we get a reward for doing this. Where are you? There you are. Now your prize is in front of the old lady's house. Make sure you pick it up before you leave. So, in doing this, I don't know how all of these windows get repaired. Since there's no one here to repair them. But our reward for doing this is a piece of heart. Really, really nice. And there's all of these cats. We can all pick them up. Have them just... Oh, it's so good. I love it. Actually, what do they say now that we've played with them? I think we can do this mini game again, but I don't think there's any like worthwhile reward. Most likely rupees, if that was the case. But we're just surrounded by cats. I love it so much. Oh, I love it. This would be a waste of time to do on video, but I want I just want to pet all of them. Just hold them. Oh, so many cats. Anyways, that's really- oh, no. I want to go here. I was going to say, like, that's that's it for this episode, but no, we have one more order of business to do here. The last thing I want to do is go see the Hero Shade, because we have one more hidden skill for us to learn. And this is something I have wanted to talk about ever since we first met the Hero Shade. But, I'll do it after we're done learning his his final skill. But, there we go. Right in front of Hyrule Castle. Fitting. At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate secret technique, and it tests the true courage of the one who wields it. Do you wish to master this final hidden skill, which can be earned only by the one true hero? Very well. Then before we begin, I will test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the jump strike. Now then, come at me! So, to use the jump strike, just hold the A button, and let go! Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing a lost art. Very well. My final hidden skill is... The Great Spin. Let it be hewn into your mind. You have at your disposal the basic sword technique known as the spin attack. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of the true hero. You now have in you the ability to magnify the power of your spin attack. But the only time you can draw out that power is when your life energy is brimming full. Now, try unleashing this spin attack on me. So before we do this, I just want you to make note, I've mentioned this before, but pay attention to how the Hero Shade is shuffling his feet. Now this is going to fall in line with what I want to talk about. Sorry, sorry, I was I was talking about something, but yes. Hold the, hold the B button, or you can rotate the spin attack, and then let go! Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is brimming full. Remember this. The final hidden skill, the Great Spin, has been passed on. Yeah. 
you learn the final hidden skill, the Great Spin. With full life energy, unleash a spin attack for even more damage. I like the added touch that whenever Link like does his battle cry with unleashing the Great Spin, it sounds more fierce. You have at last mastered all of the hidden skills. Although I accepted life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last, I have eased my regrets. You who have marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last. You who now gaze to the future with vision unclouded. Surely you can restore Hyrule to its stature of yore as a chosen land of the gods. Farewell. Go and do not falter, my child. So the Hero Shade. There have been many theories, but this was finally confirmed in Hyrule Historia, and the Hero Shade is actually another incarnation of Link. Specifically, the Link from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. When I said to pay attention to how this Link shuffles his feet, that's because whenever the Link from those two games were to target onto an enemy, that's exactly how he would do it. A really, really nice touch there, but also, this is getting into a bit of that Link's backstory, but after the events of Majora's Mask, it's implied that he settled down and had a family, and that this Link is a direct descendant of that Link. Whether it's like from many generations or not, the game doesn't really specify. I would, I would assume maybe like three or four generations past, but that Link never, never get to, he never got to pass on his skills as a hero until now and is able to pass on. And it's interesting that his appearance is that of a skeleton as the hero shade because that Link is from a place called the Kokiri Forest, and those that wander into the Lost Woods without a fairy eventually turn into Stalfos. So it could be implied that that happened to that Link. He was looking throughout the Lost Woods for his friend Navi, and in the process, he might have turned into a Stalfos and was unable to rest because because of that and being able, unable to pass on his skills. Just just a neat little bit of backstory about that link, some some theories and some implications as to his fate, but it's nice that we're able to carry on his spirit. Anyways, I can't warp here. <laughs> but yeah. That was the last thing I wanted to do in this video. So let's just head back to Kakariko Village. Even though I'm going to be ending this episode right off. But we did... We did let Impas fulfill her last role in giving us the book with all the sky writing. And we completed some side quests. Most notably, we learned the last hidden skill from the Hero Shade. So, in the next episode, since we have the Ancient Sky book, we're gonna show Shad, Shad, however you pronounce his name, we're gonna show him the Sky book and maybe get one step closer to going to the sky where the last piece of the Mirror of Twilight is. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and see y'all next time for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I wish you could pet Epina. But you can't. Anyways. Later.